Sealy Trucking was hired by my family to transport not only two of our vehicles and, and, and a bunch of personal belongings from Alaska to Nevada, but they were also hired and paid very well to transport two loving pets of ours. Um, and on delivery of our pets, um, one of our, our, our dogs, Blue, uh, showed, showed up here 17 days later with a massive ear infection. Uh, second only to one other ear infection where that poor animal lost not only his hearing, but his ear. We're still not out of the woods yet with Blue. He's been in the hospital 14 times since October 29th. He had the operation done a second time yesterday. His fever has spiked 105 at times. And, and we ask for your prayers. We ask that you highly consider another method of transporting your pets um, from Alaska to anywhere in the lower 48. Do not hire this company. They will fail you. I would strongly recommend you Google reviews and you will find nothing nice to be said about their company or anything they've done in, in the way of transporting pets or personal belongings by anyone. June, we looked into transporting our two pets uh, to Henderson from Anchorage, Alaska, to Henderson, Nevada, our two vehicles and uh, a bunch of boxes that had our personal belongings in them. And because the airlines don't allow uh, transport of certain dogs during certain times of the year, especially unless you have a um, service animal agreement on file, uh, which they're not service animals, um, we elected to look around with some with some people that we know that are you know, dog advocates, um, Alaska Bully Rescue, um, the Hound Lounge. Uh, are, are two places that we, we looked into and they recommended that we transport our dogs uh, through Sealy Trucking of Alaska. We called Sealy Trucking. We scheduled with them to transport our two pets, Blue and Cash, our two vehicles and about 61, 62 boxes. Uh, they were supposed to pick everything up on the 15th of October or thereabouts, uh, or sooner, which we have an invoice on file that, that states that. Um, they ended up picking up Blue and Cash on the 12th, October 12th. Uh, unbeknownst to us, we, we assumed that everything would be shipped together in the truck with uh, C. Lee. Uh, but after we made the payment and, and got on the schedule, um, it was... August. Yeah, we paid them last August. Um, it was confirmed that it would be two separate transports, um, which then got even weirder because then it was only one car and your stuff. And so besides all that, uh, the boys were picked up on um, October 12th and they weren't uh, delivered to us until 17, 17 days later which was the 29th of October. We had reached out to them for updates. We were promised that we would get video updates, that they would be on social media during their, throughout their travel. Um, it, it, it was apparent that it would be um, difficult to get updates um, throughout the process. The Monday prior to their delivery, uh, that morning I'd reached out on um, at my wife's request to, to see where the boys were, how they were doing. And um, he got back to us through Messenger, which is how he apparently likes to communicate with folks, um, that the boys are doing great, not to worry, um, that they, we, would get, we would be given 24-hour notice uh, prior to their arrival so that we could plan accordingly. Um, that morning, Thursday morning, we got a, a Facebook Messenger uh, from from C. Lee saying that they're an hour away from the house. Luckily, we were home. About three hours later, they, they finally arrived. And when they arrived, um, Cash was the first one out of the transport van. Uh, the woman that was, I guess, hired or employed by 
see these trucking of Alaska, um, got out of the van. She was, she was one of, she was one of the ladies that actually picked them up in Anchorage. It was actually a different lady that showed up with her to drop them off. She got out of the van, opened up the van door and, and a horrible smell came out of the van. Um, Cash got out first, greeted us with excitement. Blue then got out of the van and uh, he wasn't excited to see anybody because he was in a great deal of agony and pain. In his ear, his left ear was the size of a football. We'd already um, kind of made arrangements and, and did our research in regards to a reputable um, a pet clinic here in town that we could then bring our our animals to. We have a, a tabby cat. We have a, a an old Yorkie that, that I've had for, for 18 years, and, and they traveled on a plane with us because they were allowed to, but the two big boys were not allowed to travel with us by plane. So when Blue got out of the van, uh, we, we realized uh, right then and there that he needed um, uh, to go to a hospital, which is exactly what we did. I, I literally cut the woman off. She, she basically told me that she had a friend who was a pet tech uh, drain his ear at one point in time during travel. And I immediately asked her, who is this pet tech friend of yours? She said, it's just a friend, which, uh, you know, I didn't have time to, to elaborate or get into it with her because, you know, Blue needed to see medical attention immediately. So we scrambled to get our keys and everything, brought him in the house for, for a brief moment. My mother-in-law, who lives with us, uh, was very concerned, lifted his ear up, and that's when uh, an enormous amount of um, infection just kind of just poured out onto the floor. He was in a great deal of pain. Uh, we rushed him down to the pet hospital here in Henderson, um, and and they they took him in for immediate surgery. Um, this was again on the 29th of October. We picked him up seven o'clock that night. My my wife had started to manage his recovery. Um, which was a very long, slow process. It actually isn't um isn't isn't over yet. He actually went in yesterday um, to have the same procedure done a second time. He's been in he's been in, in and out of the pet hospital 14 times now since the 29th of October. Um, there the the pet hospital that we've been taking him to that has very good ratings um, has has mentioned things like criminal act against blue. Um, that this is a, the only the second worst ear infection that they've ever seen at, in, the, in the history of that pet clinic. They have eight doctors on staff. They're 24 um, seven and they've been very accommodating. And if it wasn't for them, we might have lost blue to a fever, um, which his fever has spiked at times over 105. Uh, and if anyone knows Dogs' uh, temperature should be no more than uh, than one or two point five, anywhere from ninety nine to one or two point five. One or three and a half is is a danger zone. One or four, anything above that is 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 really bad. And his temperature at times it spiked to one or five. It's not so much of a concern of ours of the of the expenses, but we've accumulated as of today over sixty five hundred dollars in pet fees and bills. Um, the rent a car that we had to have because he was supposed to have our stuff here within 12 to 15 days from October 15th has uh, went up to over four thousand dollars, or actually, I'm sorry, right under four thousand um, dollars. We had other expenses that we had to take on because of of his breach of contract, um, <clears throat> and I won't get into all that today, but but. Criminal neglect of, of our boys in, in, in transport. We paid them dearly to transport our two boys here. That was over. Yeah, it was over. It was about it was over two thousand dollars to transport the two boys here. We understand. I mean, you got to feed them. It's full time care. But we expected full time care, not for one of our dogs to get here with 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 um in a condition that he was delivered in um we then had to hire a second moving company because Sealy was not even back into alaska 
when we called him on the 30th and, and just said, hey, look, it, we have to make other arrangements. Not only have, have you uh, crim criminally neglected our pets in, in transport, but you're not even in back in the state of Alaska. And then he had mentioned to us that he has to take, I think it's a 36 hour hiatus um, for DLT uh, restrictions. And so we were thinking that everything that he had explained to us after the, the boys were delivered to us, that he wouldn't probably be picking our stuff up until the middle of November when he was scheduled to pick it up in the middle of October. So again, we're taking on rent-a-car fees every day. Um, our stuff isn't here, so we're having to buy things twice just to just to you know get through the day. Um, and then we started doing research, and this is how we found your company um, that there's an abundance of um, complaints against this company. My wife, you know, after after. Blue was delivered in the condition he was uh, delivered in. She had done some research and, and just put in Google um, Sealy complaints against Sealy Trucking. And, and that's where she found a, a, a list of different companies, Better Business Bureau and, and other companies that, that, have, um, that have had many complaints from this company. Um, our main concern is Blue's health and well-being. Uh, apparently, it wasn't his company's concern at all um, based off the condition that he was delivered in. Um, we are going to do everything in our power to make sure that he never transports another family's pet as long as he lives. That's our main concern. This has cost us well over $23,000. Um, again, we had to hire a second company to pick up the, where he failed us. They had to come in and, and deliver our two cars, which the cars and our personal items were delivered in like Two weeks, less than two weeks, which is what was promised to us by CB Trucking in in the forms that we signed, uh, the, the invoices that we have on file. So we we have made complaints against him with the Better Business Bureau, which has basically flagged him. He doesn't even have a, a rating with them anymore. Um, you, your company, uh, the Attorney General's Office of, of Alaska, we've talked to an attorney. Again, this really boils down to, to Blue's health and well-being. He, again, just had the surgery a second time yesterday. Their concern is he might lose his, his hearing and his ear. Um, the other pet, or not the other pet, but the other dog that was brought in that, that was in worse shape than Blue, was um, he was a stray dog found um, by somebody and brought into this animal hospital. So they don't know how long infection had set into this particular dog's ear but that dog lost his hearing and his ear due to this infection and in 17 days uh, from the time they picked blue up from the time they dropped him off somewhere along the line he got this massive ear infection which they never informed us about they never took him to any animal hospital in travel they literally kept on trucking and delivered him in the condition that they delivered him in. Um, again, the first doctor at the pet hospital that, that we spoke to, they called us up that night and said, hey, you know, he's still under anesthesia. You can probably pick him up around seven. We said, without a doubt, this is a criminal act against, against Blue, uh, which we totally agree with. So um, our expense is because we've paid him. He hasn't reimbursed us. He's basically ghosted us. Um, um, and, and having to hire a second company, which delivered our stuff within reasonable amount of time, uh, and all the other expenses have racked up to well over $22,000. Um, so we're seeking everyone's help. And more importantly, we're, we're trying to get the word out there that to avoid this company at all costs, uh, there's gotta be a better way to transport your family's pets from Alaska to anywhere else in the in the lower 48 than using this company. If you Google him, as we've done a lot of research since this happened and, and find that there's other folks that have dealt with this kind of complaint uh, and, and uh, have not gotten reimbursed for um, for their moving expenses that, that he's more than willing to take, you know, to get you scheduled, but not willing to reimburse when he doesn't schedule you properly or where's 
or if he fails your family in regards to pet transport. So um, we're just trying to get the word out to the world to to avoid this 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 company. I, I guess along the I guess somewhere along the line it became more of a uh, maybe about the 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 money than it did the care and well being of the of the family's pet. Um, the recommendation to use him uh, came from a successful delivery of a pet from the lower 48 to this individual in, in Alaska. And if anyone knows this individual, they know how much this person loves and adores and cares for, 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 for dogs, especially. Um, um, so we don't blame this person at all. Uh, we have since talked to this person numerous times in regards to the fact that it's not their fault that they had one successful uh, delivery of a, of a, of a rescue from the lower 48 to, to Anchorage, Alaska. And that if, if you know, if, if our boys weren't um, service animals and they're not, um, you know, ethically speaking, we would never file forms saying that they are service animals when, when they're truly not. Uh, we, we would never want to take away from those folks that actually need service animal. Uh, uh, certification. So we reluctantly traveled without them. We, we wish we could have traveled with them, you know, with COVID and everything going on, the, the borders are shut down and there's a lot of things that prevented us from traveling somehow with our, with our, with our family, with our, with our boys. But um, we trusted this company to not only transport our, our, our two boys, but to do so in a loving, caring manner. Um, and they failed, failed blue miserably. They failed him miserably. And, and now we are trying our best to nurse him back to health. His ear will never be the same. Um, we're still not certain if he's not going to lose it or not. Um, the infection comes and goes and it's at, at a direct result of his transport here from Alaska to Henderson from Sealy Trucking and Company. And, in Anchorage, Alaska, we actually had um, our our pet clinic of Alaska that we've been bringing all four of our pets to for many many years. Um, do a uh, um, they, they two hours before transport, he was at the the clinic getting a full observation, ears, everything, and and we have the documentation on that in regards to. Um, their approval of his transport. So, I mean, we did everything we could do to make sure that we covered all of our bases in regards to transporting our two boys successful, successfully from Anchorage to Henderson. And uh, again, uh, Sealy Trucking and Company of Alaska failed our family miserably and more importantly, failed Blue miserably. And uh, he's still not out of the woods yet. So um, your prayers would be appreciated as well. Thank you. Honestly, we just want to make sure we just we would really like to see this guy step away from pet transport. Honestly, from other reviews, we would really like to see this guy step away from trucking altogether. It's not just failing families at pet transport. Um, I mean, there's one family that we read about where the pet was actually transported in the back of a U-Haul truck from Alaska in the wintertime. And when they got the pet to its owner in the lower 48, he had frostbitten uh, paws and, and lost most of his pads. And it's just the stories are horrific and they go on and on and on. And um, I would just, I would just plead with this company just to just a step away from trucking altogether. It's it's obviously something you're not meant to be doing. Um, if I mean the the last thing he said to me was your pets were in the best care they could possibly be in. While we were after I texted him a film of Blue at the hospital hours before his first operation, and how how infected his his ear was and how bad this was he still took the the position of you know we we did they were in the best care they could possibly be in which is ludicrous um so so to answer your question i I would plead with this company just to just to 
just to throw in a town and give it up because you have no, you have, you have no right transporting families' pets, let alone their personal belongings. 